Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have created a new project and let me show you quickly its demo. So this is inventory management system. Let me run this code. So this is my login page and here you can see the images. These are changing. This looks amazing, right? And uh, here we need to enter the employee ID and the password. Okay. So firstly, I will log in as an admin and then I will log in as an employer. Okay. So I will enter the admin credentials here. But if you don't enter anything and directly try to log in, you will see this message fields cannot be empty. And if you enter some random wrong email ID and wrong password, it says invalid username or password. So you have to enter the correct employee ID and the correct password. So after entering the correct username and password, I am login successfully. So here you can see total number of employees, total suppliers, total categories, total products and total sales. So from here you can go to this employee section and here you can manage the employee details. So I have already registered these many employees. If you have to register a new employee, simply add the employee ID here. Enter the gender, full time, part time, casual status. So I'll add part time, address Mumbai, name Shreya. After that, I need to mention the date of birth. And then the education, date of joining. After that, user type, whether he is or she is an employee or an admin, I'll select employee. After that, I'll mention the email of uh, Shreya, but make sure you mention the same email on which you will be receiving the OTP if you forget your password. After that, here you can mention the contact number. From here you can select the role and then you can mention the salary of the employee and then you can mention the password. This is the same password that you use for login as an employee. Okay. And this is your employee ID. Once you save it, data is saved. After that, from here you can update some data. Like for example, if I want to uh, change the user type to employee and click on this update, you can see data is updated, right? And uh, if these fields are not empty, then you can simply click on this clear. This will clear all these fields like this. And after that, we also have this search employee functionality. Uh, you can search the employee based on role, status, email, name, education or salary. If I search uh, role, if I search for web development, I will type just half of the word like web and if I search, you will see the result here. Okay. And then you can click on this show all to display all the records like this. And then from here, you can go back and go to supplier section. And here you can manage the supplier details. So these are the suppliers. You can fill these details and add one more supplier. Let me quickly do that. After filling these details, you can click on the save. And select this. And if you want to update something, you can do that. If you want to delete some record, select that record and click on this delete. It will ask you whether you want to delete. If you say no, nothing will happen. But if you say yes, this record will be deleted. And from here you can search 
the supplier based on the invoice number. So if I mention 15 invoice number and click on the search, you can see we got this Tarun Kapoor, supplier of pet supplies, right? If I click on show all, we'll see all the suppliers. After that, we can go back and move to category section. Here you can see these are the categories, home appliances, electronics, furniture, clothing, footwear and so on. And these are the descriptions. Okay, you can add one more category if you want by filling these details. After filling these details, you can add. And if you wish to delete some record, you can delete. Then I'll move to product section. And here you can see the categories. These are the same categories that are fetched from this category section. And these are the suppliers that are fetched from the supplier section. Okay. So we'll select some category like electronics. We'll select the supplier Amit Singh. We'll name the uh, electronics like I'll mention the price. I'll mention the quantity and we'll select the status whether this product is active or not. I'll make it active and we'll save. You can see the last one that I added just now. And then here you can search the products based on the category name, supplier name or simply the name. Okay. Uh, let's search based on the supplier name. So you can see we have two records here. This supplier supplies lathe machine and refrigerator. Okay. And after that we have show all to display all the records. If you don't select any option or you don't fill this entry field and directly try to search. So if I enter some value like iPhone. So I have applied a lot of validation in this project. So I'll select name here. And we can do the search and then as i told you we can delete the records by clicking on this delete button and if the fields are not empty you can simply clear the fields after that we can move to sales section so here you can see all the sales records in the form of text files if you'll select these text files you will see uh, the customer name, phone number, bill number, date, okay, the product name and the bill amount and the net pay. Similarly, you can move to some other file like this. And if you wish to search some bill, suppose the records are too many, then you can mention the invoice number and you will be able to search that. Here we are getting the record, okay? And we can clear from here. And then we have this exit button. If you'll click yes, the project will be ended. And whatever updation that you will do here, that will be reflected here. So after adding a new employee or deleting a new employee, you will see the employee count here. Similarly for others. If you'll click on this logout, you will be redirected here. And from here, you can log in now as an employee. So I'll mention the employee ID and the password. And this is our billing page. From here, the user can buy the products. Okay. Suppose if I select cricket bat from here, I'll mention the quantity, how many I want. I'll simply click on this add update card. You can see the card is updated. After that, I'll select some other product and I'll mention the quantity. And you can see the quantity is updated. Okay. And then I can simply generate the bill. 
so we'll fill the name and the contact now I'll, i can generate the bill you can see the bill is generated and bill is saved also okay the bill is saved in the sales section right and then we can simply print this bill so if your printer is connected by clicking here uh, this bill will be printed out okay since i don't have a printer connected so i'll simply cancel after that you can search for any product like for example if i search for iphone suppose the list is long and you want to search some product you can do that and from here you can select that product like this okay and this will be updated as you select the product as you add products in the cart okay now if you want to remove some product you can simply uh, mention the quantity as zero and click on this add or update card once you select yes you can see the iphone is removed from the card right if you want to update the quantity of some product like if i want to update the quantity of this office chair i want quantity as four i'll select yes you can see the quantity is changed there right and after that we have this clear button this will clear these fields and we have this clear all this will clear everything okay and from here we can show all and notice one thing here we are seeing only those products products whose status is active the inactive products we are not seeing here so once the admin will make any product as active then that product will be displayed here okay let me show you so if i go to this product and from here uh, i'll select some product and i'll make this cleaning supplies as inactive okay i'll update it so now you won't see cleaning supplies there okay similarly if you see many products are inactive like this it services is inactive so i'll select it i'll make it active now if i go back and log in as an employee and this is the button that we can use in order to show or hide the password and here now you will see web hosting right and cleaning supplies has been removed from here right suppose if you forget the password you can click on this forget password it asks you for please enter employee id so if you are mentioning the wrong employee id it says invalid employee id try again so after mentioning the correct employee id now check your email for the otp so i'll go to the browser and will open my gmail and here you can see just now i have received this 0 minutes ago right so this is the otp so i'll copy this otp and will go back to the app and here i need to mention the otp because if you will not verify it here then you will not be able to change the password because this button is disabled so we need to verify verification is successful and now you will be able to change the password so it is changed and now you will be able to log in with the new password okay so i hope this project is clear to you how this is working let me know in the comment section if you want the tutorials of this project
आई होप यू लाइक इट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग